Alright guys, I'm here in the battery room. What I'm going to do, I got the old multimeter out. And we're going to check this bad boy by hand like I used to do. We got right here my um, cell drift was just down to two. And the um, I see the uh, Cell drift balancer is on balancing the cells. Now, right here, number one, we at 4.139. Let's do it manually and see where we at. Four point one three nine. Number two is four point one three nine. Let's see. Yeah, I'm putting it on. Go over here. Four point one four. All right, let's just run on through these bad boys. 4.14, 4 4.14, 4 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14
my screen outside but that's how it is you come off your positive battery right now I got my BMS ground going into the BMS it's coming out of the BMS down there and coming around into the shunt come out of the shunt and goes to both of the uh, inverter solar inverters and that's how it is and here is the just got it hanging here. But what I did on here, it came with some 12 gauge wire. I took that 12 gauge wire off and soldered three uh, number four wires. Three number four wires uh, on there because I know this thing says 400 amps, but I know it can't run 400 amps continuous. So I'm hearing this thing should do about 250, 225 constant. And my pips or my LV54 is supposed to be able to do 125 per unit. So that's 250 max. And I never max it out. So I think that this would be fine, more than enough to um, run it. But other than that, I think that's all I wanted to show you. These are my temperature gauges. I need to get them closer over here to the center of the battery. And uh, here's all my leads. This is the, the ground. And then that's one, two, three, four, five, and continue on down to 14. And... Uh, yeah, other than that, it wasn't too bad. The little problems that I had getting this thing set up, I couldn't get the software downloaded onto my telephone. And thanks to um, um, 